The Story of Carlos, Chapter 1. Carlos sat down in his bedroom and looked around the sea of beds in the dormitory. There were 15 beds in all. It was crowded, but comfortable. All the boys who shared the dormitory had their own cupboard for storing their things. Not that Carlos had many things. He had two pairs of trousers that had been given to him, two t-shirts, a jumper, and a sprinkling of underwear and socks. Oh, and the coat that one of the older boys had kindly given him because it didn't fit him any longer. Carlos looked into the mirror, fastened to his cupboard. He stared. Two bright blue eyes stared back. He began to dress for bed. He put on his boxer shorts and looked at himself in the mirror one more time. He was hoping that his muscles would arrive soon, but there didn't seem to be any signs yet. He flexed his right arm, but there really was nothing there. Nothing, that is, except Carlos's strange mark. On the top of his left arm, there was a very curious shape. It looked like a wave splashing into the air. Carlos often wondered what it was but recently decided it was just a birthmark. Carlos crawled into bed and lay back on his pillow. He pushed his long, curly blonde hair out of his eyes and stared up at the ceiling. Carlos was nine years old. The place he lived in was not his real home, but it felt like home to him. He grabbed his stuffed rabbit, which by now was looking a bit the worse for wear, snuggled it under his chin and began to drop off to sleep. Carlos's earliest memories were very happy ones. He remembered being rocked to sleep by his father and the feel of the cot blankets on his face. His fondest memories were of looking up into his mother's radiant blue eyes as she sang to him a song about cows jumping over the moon and plates running away with spoons. The little stuffed rabbit was his only reminder of that time now. Somehow, that world had vanished away from him. And now, he lived with many other boys and girls in an orphanage run by monks. Carlos lay on his bed thinking, little realising that everything was about to change.